Hi, in this demo of Font Titan, I will show you the ability to set limits to your form submissions. Let's see what are the options available. Okay, so the first option is unique submissions. If we tick that, the user will only be able to submit the form once. So for example, let's say we are doing some kind of survey and obviously we want people to answer our questions only once. I can come to the limits, set unique submissions, and if I save that and publish, you will see that obviously I can now submit my form, something like that, submit, which is fine, but then when the form reloads, it says you already submitted this form and you cannot submit it again. I will copy my API address for a specific reason. Then we can say IP whitelist. So I only want people who are using this IP to be able to submit my form. If I click save, again, I can publish it and click view. Obviously this time it will let me submit because I, I undid the unique submissions and that's all fine. But if I go and change the IP, let's say to free, so it's not me, it's not my company, I can come in, refresh the page, and it will tell you this form is disabled. As simple as that. So that's another thing you can do. And obviously you can have as many IPs as you want separated with a comma. Something like that. And then I, again, can submit this form. As simple as that. I can completely disable the form if I want. So for, for the time being, I don't want anybody to be able to submit this form. And then obviously if I go, it will be disabled. Nobody can submit it. We have got something called quota limit. Obviously you, you can have as many as you want. You can have unique submissions, quota limit, and IP whitelist if you wanted to. Uh, you can say, you know what? I only want, p want total submissions of the form. For example, in my example, I'll do two just to show you, but you will do a lot more obviously, uh, but let's do that. So I can see it's already been submitted to twice, so let's up it a couple more. And if I click view, so now I can submit the form, I'll submit it. And then once it's submitted, it will load again. And after this one, we shouldn't be able to submit the form. And there you go, it's reached its quota limit. So yes, you can sub, uh, re restrict it by the number of submissions. And obviously you can specify date and times where you want this form to be available. So for example, I can say I want it to be from, let's say, let's move on to from the 1st of April, and you can give a time to the Let's move on again to April and let's say we want it to the 4th of April and again you can give a time. If I update that and publish, obviously this is fine, so it will let me submit as many as I want. Obviously if you got quota, you, it will ensure that the quota is not reached. Um, as simple as that. Okay, so let's go back here and let's make it a date that is in the past something like that and if I click publish now it will be disabled again so you can have your form enabled or disabled between certain dates and so on and so forth so you set quotas you can have whitelist IP so it's internal to your organization for example um, you can have unique submissions so if you're doing a survey you don't want the same user to submit the form multiple times you can do that as well. Thank you very much.